When the Holy Spirit moves, the exaltation this morning, when the Holy Spirit moves, when the Holy Ghost moves, light comes. We see in Genesis chapter 1, from that verse 1 to 5, he said in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and, and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters. The spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the water. Before then, God already created the heaven and the earth. And in verse 3, and God said, let there be lights. And there was light. When the Holy Spirit moves, there will be light. Brethren, we need light like never before. It was about a week and a half or two weeks thereabouts. The Holy Spirit said, so many eyes are physically open, but their spiritual eyes are dead. And it referenced, I think two or three, you know, legally blind people that I met. And before you get to them, why I am trying to move away so that they don't eat me and I don't, you know, stand on their way. They already moving. And I started asking, how come? After I, you know, I took that study a couple of times, then I saw that they have a spiritual eye. That they can sense, they can smell, and they can know that something is coming their direction. And yet those of us with eyes, our eyes are opening. Some are even walking into their own doom with their eyes open. The order is changing in the name of Jesus. I said the order is changing in the name of Jesus. Because you see, one of the things when the, the Holy Spirit moves and light comes, Things becomes exposed. I say, I love it. When before I get into a place, the Holy Spirit already come ahead and played what is going to happen there. And then by the time I get there, I see the manifestation. I thank God every time that when people are thinking that they are deceiving me, the Holy Spirit will just, he will just unfold it. And I will hear my spirit, it's a lie. It's a lie. And I will just look. And sometimes you say, it's just for your information. But the one he wants me to talk about, I will face and say, this is what the Holy Spirit is saying. And they look and say, uh -uh, this girl, what is wrong? What is, what, is, what is wrong? I've had it a couple of times. Because you see, you don't know who you are sitting by. At work, on the street, you don't know. But when the Holy Spirit starts to open our spiritual eyes to begin to see, there was a, a vigil that we had. I can't forget that vigil. We were supposed to come to church that Friday. And then during the course of the evening, the Holy Spirit said, no, you are doing this Holy Communion from home. And one of the prayer points that night as we were wrapping up that Holy Ghost, I mean, the Holy Communion service, he said we should pray for our neighbor. For those who were online that day, and a couple of us were online, he said pray for our neighborhood and ask that anything that does not belong cannot operate here. There cannot be two masters. It was that same week, the following week, where we have lived for years, and we pass every day. 
And we think it's just a general garage, like every one of us had the garage. And then my husband was passing, and he saw this shrine in the, at the garage. The, the door was completely open. And he came to me. She, he said, can I believe what he saw? And he described it. I said, I believe it. I said, because while we were praying that prayer on that night, on that, uh, yeah, I mean, that Friday, only communion, and El Shaddai night, as the Holy Spirit said, we need to pray that prayer in all our neighborhoods. And that is why it did not, we, we, we are not coming to church that night. You need to know. You need to know who your neighbors are. Your eyes have to be open. We need to know. Aga was crying, trying to put her head, uh, uh, put you know her, her eyes away, so that she would not see, she would not watch um, Ishmael die of thirst because there was no water, and yet there was a well. Provision was right by her, and she was crying. And then the Holy Spirit opened her eyes. And she saw the water. And the child lived. What you need for your sustenance. Hear me well. For some of us. is already with us. But you are still. Some have not identified. Some have identified. But they are still struggling. Because it is not what you feel like it should be like. I want it red. High, short, this is what I want. And the Holy Spirit is saying, you are praying. The answer is already here, but you are looking away. And if time is not, <laughs> if care is not taken, you will miss the opportunity. Because every opportunity is time sensitive. You are going to pray. Father, in any way that I'm still struggling with the Holy Spirit, hand over to me. That is my own prayer. I prayed it. I prayed it for myself. I prayed it for my children. I pray for everyone. Any area, Lord, that I'm still struggling with you, I hand over, hand over, hand over, hand over, hand over, hand over. Big packages don't come in, 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 in it can come in very tiny, tiny part parcel, insignificant parcel. And you just look at it and you dump it. And that is the fortune that you have been praying for. May you not miss any more blessing. I say, may you not miss any blessing in the name of Jesus. And so, God now saw that the light was good. And it was, creation just continued like that. And after he made everything, he said, and the Lord looked at it and he said, it was good. It was good. It was good. Brethren, some of us are so loaded. Yet, you are not giving birth. We are so loaded. The world is coming, but you are not giving birth. You are not reproducing. You are not reproducing. The infilling of the Holy Spirit works better, works well. The purpose is for you to give birth. It's for you to give birth. Because the more you give birth, the more it continues to use you. And the more you humble yourself, it continues to use you. In Exodus chapter 14 verse 21 to, you know, 28. You know, we see so many things happening in that scripture. So many things happening. The way maker, making ways. In the Red Sea, with instruction. Instruction that appears as if has no, no meaning. The humanly speaking, no meaning. It doesn't make sense to us. But can you imagine? If only 
Moses had argued with God. He said, why are you crying to me? Tell the people to move forward. If David, Moses had said, ah, ah, and he said, take your rod, part the sea. How can a rod? I'm saying it to myself. Just that little rod, the whole of the Red Sea. It could have been he asked God, move forward where? We are looking at the Red Sea. The Egyptians are behind us. And you say, move forward. But he did not question. Why did he not question? He recognized the power of the Holy Spirit. The one that has been from the beginning. Because he said the Spirit of the Lord did what? In that he moved. May the, may the Holy Spirit open our eyes. Bring him closer in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, very soon, um, you know, we are going to go into those who are not speaking in tongues yet. Because you need that power. You need it. You need it. You need it. The Holy Spirit will baptize you with tongue. And after that speaking in tongue, there is the song of the Holy Spirit. It's another level of experience. It's beyond song. The, 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 uh, speaking in tongues. You are speaking in tongues, but you are singing. And as you are singing, you can tell that it's in another realm. I've never drank in my life. I don't know how it feels when people drink. <laughs> but I tell you, the first experience of that manifestation of singing in the Holy Ghost... I was drunk. I was, I saw myself in another complete level. And he doesn't just, he just comes. When he wants to come like that, for the unusual. It's time for some of us, it's time for some of you to move to that level. You have stayed where you are for too long. It's good. It's time to move up. Because as you move up, you begin to see beyond where you are. Everyone is sitting. I can see our head. Imagine if everyone is standing. I cannot see. So we need the infilling of the Holy Spirit. It's a prayer every day. But I must send a warning. Because when it comes to the movement of the Holy Spirit, there are so many things that needs to be taken care of. And we say it times and times again. Those who will flourish, who will operate maximally in the Holy Ghost will not be those who are half and half. One leg here, one leg there. They will not be those who greet Mas, Pastor Margaret kneeling down, but in their hearts? There will not be those who will still go back and back bite and do things. And the Holy Spirit is saying, do this. You do what the one you want to do. You pick and choose. Mm -mm. Can't pick and choose when it comes to the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Lord will help us. I say the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. When the Holy Spirit comes in, every confusion, it presents itself with clarity. It will hear. In Mark chapter 4, we're going to read this and we're going to pray. From verse 35 to 41, Mark 4, 35 to 41. He said, and the same day, when the evening was come, he said to them, let pass, let us pass over to onto the other side. And when they had sent, when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as 
he was in the ship. And there also with him other little ships. There and there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the, in the part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he, he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. There was a great calm. A great calm is coming into a family. I say a great calm. He said there was a great calm. A family is experiencing the calmness of heaven. And he said unto them, Why are you so careful? How is it that you have no faith? How is it that you have no faith? Whatever your faith can carry, you will bet it. You will bet it. Whatever your faith can carry, I say you will bet it. In the name of Jesus. He was surprised. These people have been with me for so long. And yet, they can cry. Master, care us not that we perish. How can the master be in the boat of your life? Sitting there, not living. He's the driver of the vehicle. Before I tell my children, I say, you know, Jesus, I said, you know, God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit lives here. I said, there is nothing you will do. You will be exposed. From when they were young, I told them. And when they go do some things, and I said, they look at themselves. They say, you see your mother? You see your mother? You see your mother? After a while, they got it. And so, <laughs> those people say, mom, this is what happened. And that's it. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the Holy Spirit will always come ahead. I told them, I said, except the blood of Jesus fails. If the blood of Jesus has not failed, nobody will, nobody will deceive me. I said, except that blood fails. And that blood will never fail. I said, nobody will deceive me. Because it is a covenant. People can be so wicked. People can be so good. But you don't even know which is which. They are laughing, but it's another thing. A sister was sharing yesterday with me, say, Pastor, I say, I can't believe this. Somebody that does not know her, know her husband, told another woman that she stole her husband from another person. And the rumor started going along. As God will do it. Ah. The friend of this <laughs> one of mine. She was telling me yesterday, she said, Pastor, he said, ah. She was she was so you know hot. He said, a friend now got you know closer to their family. Began to see that this man has never married any woman. So where is the woman that they said she took from her husband? So the lady now, you know, asks her husband, say, do you have any wife? He said, no. I was the one that fight for her. She went to London. From London, she came here. And we've been, this, these are the only two children I have. Said, this is what my friend, the one that you know, said about you. He said, and before she finished saying it, I said, that is a killer. That is a killer. 
that is how some marriages are destroyed. Just like that. Just like that. Because imagine it, it could have been she came to her and said, this is what your husband is doing. Or go to the husband and say, look, I saw your wife. And the man does not have sense to try to, you know, get to the bottom of it. So I told her, I said, the Lord will continue to expose everyone that wants to cause you pain. Everyone that wants to cause me pain. The Lord will expose them. They will not go unpunished. They will not go and punish. Don't done anything to her. And so her friend said, ah, the same way she did to you, told me, ah, mm -mm. she might have done more, even to me, that is her friend. And we believe this thing for almost two years. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. I said, the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. We are going to decree that every, every storm, we are going through a storm right now. Tell that storm to stop, to stop now. Peace be still. Peace be still. If you need to ask for mercy, ask for mercy. If you know that, you know that prayer, you know, mm -mm, I need mercy before I pray that prayer, please ask for God's mercy. And then begin to decree. He said you will decree a thing and it shall be established. Speak the peace of God. Peace be still. Peace be still. Satan, take off your dirty hands of me. Take off your dirty hands of my family. Take off your dirty hands of God's people. Take off your dirty hands of my health. Is that somebody's declaration? Please be still. You are not going to command. Because the Alpha is also the Omega. It can go ahead of your storm. Begin to decree. Every storm waiting for me in the future. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. Any storm waiting for my children, for my husband. Father, I cry this day. I said, peace be still. The power of the Omega. Cease every of your storm in the name of Jesus. Our Father, we bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We bless your name. We thank you because your children are going in this strength, in this might, in this power. As you open our eyes to see, even in the deepest of the deepest, to see the invisible in the name of Jesus. But at this, today, I ask that as your children sleep tonight, before tomorrow morning, Lord, you will minister to some. You will open their eyes to the very root in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, the grace to quickly move, you will release unto them in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, when you move, there is healing. I ask. Master, if any family member or yourself is sick, I want you to just stand where you are. It is your promise. Rabaka sikete limanda kasunde keribo. Father, I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. And I ask for God in the name of Jesus that Lord, you will heal this your children in the name of Jesus. You have given brand new kidneys. You have given new hearts. Lord, you have changed lab results. That the testimonies have come to you from this altar. There is nothing you cannot do. That it let there be a, a complete overhaul. In the name of Jesus, my God and my Father, Spirit of the living God, move now. Take your children 
to the theater room of heaven and walk on them in the name of Jesus. Thank you because it is done. Blessed be your name. No one will share your glory in Jesus' name. And so I say, go in this might. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, with open eyes, with open hearts, with open ears, in the name of Jesus, you will see the invisible, you will hear the inaudible, and you will do the incredible, in the name of Jesus. So, it is in Jesus' name. Amen.